Before she became the retro rad chef and a Food Network regular, Emily Ellen was a queen, a potato queen from Ohio. I was the 1996-97 Manaway Potato Festival nice. queen. <laughs> Get away to Manaway <laughs> the weekend after Labor Day for food, fun, and festivities. I've never interviewed royalty, but since Emily was once a queen, it was fitting that she asked me to meet here at King's Bowling Alley on I Drive to roll a few frames. Central Florida is full of interesting people, and I'm determined to interview them while doing fun activities. This is Catch Up with Bus Decker. Emily is perhaps best known for battling other chefs on TV. She's been on Food Network Star, Cupcake Wars, and Cutthroat Kitchen, which she won. But before Emily and I could talk about any of that, we needed a drink. All right, bring it in, bring it in. What do we got here? Breakfast too big. All right. Oh my god. Oh. I'm glad it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we're having drinks. Emily's Ohio roots are what led to her love of food and cooking. Did you always want to be a cook or in food or yeah. never want to do anything else? Never. I grew up on a farm. We raised and grew everything we ate. Oh. Like, I could kill and dress a chicken by the age of five. Really? Yeah. She studied at the Culinary Institute of America in New York and then moved to Paris to continue her education. But then from Paris, it was like, where to go? So it ended so, up, you're like, New I'm York, like, New York, Paris, Orlando. Orlando. <laughs> While here, she's been pursuing her doctorate at the Rosen College of Hospitality. I just have to write that dissertation. She's also worked at a number of local restaurants and bars. I have been blessed to dabble in some restauranting around here, I guess. <laughs> I was a bartender, server, cook in a lot of these restaurants. Roy's down the road. Urban Flats, all the rustiques and teeks, and yeah. Her big break right. came when a friend signed her up for Food Network Star. Um, I signed my life away, had this like contract, was reading through it, they called my name, it was so fast. They said, come back, okay. Came back the next day, I was on next Food Network Star. Then the next year, I was on the fan favorite Cupcake Wars with Lance Bass, <gasps> Swoon Fest, then just went Cutthroat Kitchen. Those appearances introduced America to Emily and her retro rad style, which is sort of an homage to 1950s kitsch with a pinch of punk rock. I take the old, I remix it and make it new through these retro redos. For instance, pressure cooking and slow cooking, jamming, pickling. I like to do new twists on things. When she's not coming up with new recipes, Emily stays busy judging food contests, hosting events, and traveling the country. She also has a line of aprons, and soon she'll have a new cookbook out called TV Tray Sheet. It is the cutest cookbook on earth. All these really cool dishes shot in retro TV oh, trays. Cool. Emily's whole persona, it's not an act. She's been into retro fashion since she was a kid. I wore cat-eyed glasses. I would shop at Vintage, I would wear ridiculous clothes and outfits that I just always had this affinity for. I just go it. over in farmland Ohio. They thought I was crazy. <laughs> Everybody probably rolled their eyes and said, well, she's going to be different when she grows up. <laughs> and, and and I get it. Right. And right. I mean, I get it all the time. Well, Emily's exactly how she was when she was little. Emily has now lived in Orlando for almost 10 years, and she's seen the city blossom into a food destination. From a food perspective, like, can you not have a cooler town? I was here during the, the start, and now it's like starting to surge, and chefs are really coming into their own, and it's moving away from the theme parks, and the tourists are starting to kind of come into the downtown area and really experience Orlando. By now you may be wondering what Emily had to do to win the title of Queen of the Manaway Potato Festival. During the competition, she had to list three words that describe herself. Funny, smart, and then I'm like, oh, that's not enough of a clincher. And as if divine intervention out of my mouth, cute as a button. And the crowd went wild. <laughs> But I got it. That's what like sealed the deal. All hail the potato queen. Ah! 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 Ah!